Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome back to another episode, today we're gonna analyze if $11,100 was now the top and we're gonna see a big correction to the downside or are we heading towards higher highs, so higher than $12,500. This is what we're gonna have to analyze in today's video. And before we start, just a reminder, we still have our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway running. Currently, we only have 46 comments and Bitcoin addresses in the subscription video. So if you want to take this chance to win this $10 worth of Bitcoin, then make sure to go to the subscription video that is popping up at the end of this video. Put there your comment and your Bitcoin address. We're gonna select the winner at the end of this week. And also don't forget, if you want to sign up to all of these exchanges that I recommend you, use the links that you find down below here in the video description. With my links, you can get some sign up bonus. I always recommend you to trade with your cryptos on Bybit and Femix. Here you can trade different cryptos, but also for example, you can trade gold. And on Bityard, you can trade everything with your tether. So here you can trade derivatives, cryptocurrencies and so on everything with your tether without kyc nothing so if you want to take this bonus of up to 258 dollars and also support the channel use the link that you find down below here and of course you're very welcome to join also my twitch channel and my discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and we have a very great community over there all right guys so now let's start here in the one hour time frame in the bitcoin price because currently after we got here this sell signal in the one hour when we reached here the high of eleven thousand one hundred dollar we started here a correction and this morning as you can see we were squeezing between the 20 and 50 moving average in the one hour and currently we are seeing a drop so here my target is now to reach and retest this ten thousand seven hundred dollar where previously also we had here some consolidation before we came up here here. So I think in this level we most likely gonna see in the next couple of hours some consolidation maybe before we're gonna continue to drop lower because I still think that it's very likely that we will go sub 10k before we're starting to test again 12,000 and go higher. And if we have a bigger drop, so if we are not bouncing here from this $10,700, then watch out for the 200 moving average in the one hour. It's currently at $10,500. We have now the RSI trading below the 50. So in the next couple of hours, you should be prepared to see movements to the downside. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the downside. And also we're trading in the lower part, of course. So we are here trading on the bearish side. Stochastic is already oversold, but we can stay in this area for quite some time before we're gonna see a bounce to the upside. And also KSD and MACD are now shifted to the downside since they had a bearish cross. So be prepared to see some continuation to the downside here. And although if you have a look into the DXY, you can see that we have a massive spike here to the upside. We came straight up here to our resistance of 93.50. And once more, we are getting rejected here. So you can also see that here I got also a sell signal in the DXY. So I was thinking that most likely the DXY is gonna top out here again, and we're gonna have a major drop to the downside. The good thing here on the DXY is that currently it gets saved by the 200 moving average. We're gonna have to see if we're able to break through here to the upside, or if we're gonna continue to trade lower than $93. So we're gonna have a possible dump here, and in that case, a big push to the upside in the Bitcoin price. But currently there is also a cool off going on here on the DXY. So that's why I'm not pretty convinced that this the drop that we are seeing right here is going to be sustainable or will be a long lived one because the DXY is also starting to look bearish again here in the one hour time frame. So I think that most likely Bitcoin is going to stay a bit here in this $10,700 before we're going to make a next move and if we're gonna drop to the downside then this could potentially be a head and shoulders pattern where we have here the left shoulder then here the head and here the right shoulder created if we're gonna create here a head and shoulders pattern that is very possible to happen if we start to consolidate here and then have a big drop to the downside but this is all what we're gonna have to see in the next couple of hours and where we're gonna close these hourly candles 
And now let's switch over into the four hour time frame because currently we have the 20 moving average right here at 10,780. So there is still a high chance that we're gonna see a bounce from it. And then again, watch out for the 200 moving average up here at $11,100. Yesterday we came very, very close to it. And as I told you, this is my target here for a possible rejection area and then a continuation to the downside. It's not only the 0.618 Fib line here based on this move that we had recently, this drop from 12,000 down to 10,000, but also that where the 200 moving average is lining up. I got here another sell signal. I started to short over here when we got the first sell signal and I scaled in some shorts since we already had here two more sell signals. And let's see if this is gonna play out here or not. RSI is also cooling off now after being completely overbought. So let's see what happens once we're gonna test here the 50 level in the RSI. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band, here you can see that currently we are testing the middle line. If we're gonna have a four hour close below 10,780, then watch out here for the bottom of $10,500. This is at least where I'm expecting some bounces to the upside if we're really dropping that low. Stochastic is also cooling off down to oversold condition, but also here we can stay for quite some time before we're gonna see a bounce. And the MACD and KST also had a bearish cross, so also here I'm expecting some continuation to the downside. And if we go over into the DXY, here you see that currently we're trading above all the moving averages, which is very bullish for the DXY actually, although we are trading now here above the 50 level. So I'm expecting more continuation here to the upside on the DXY. And that of course could be bearish for Bitcoin because in that case, we're gonna see some more corrections to the downside. And now let's open up the daily time frame here in the Bitcoin price because here I want to compare not only the spot market, but also the CME chart. And the spot market is actually looking still very bullish. We are trading now above the 20 daily moving average. We had two days ago a close above, then we had a big pump yesterday, and currently we're retracing back down to possibly test and confirm the 20 daily moving average, acting as a support here at 10,750. We are right at the 50 level in the RSI, and after I got here a buy signal in the daily time frame, you can see that we started to go with this uh, pump here to the upside, and currently we have to see if we're gonna top out here at 11,200 and gonna come back down below the 20 daily or we're gonna continue here to trade to the upside. And in my opinion, as you know, I still think we're gonna have most likely to go down also to test the 200 daily moving average, which is down here at 9,150 currently, and also at the same time close the CME gap that we have over here. This is the CME chart, and as you can see, the gap is still opened. We came very close to close it, but we didn't close it completely. And that's why I still think there's a very high chance that we could go down here to these levels test here the 9k support and then start to moon a rocket to the upside. And yesterday we had also here in the CMEs a close above the 20 daily moving average, so above 10,980, but we also need confirmation. So if today we're gonna close above 10,980 again, then I think there is a very high chance that we will see continuation to the upside. But if today we're gonna close again below the 20 or maybe even below the 50 daily moving average, then this was a fake out and we're gonna see here continuation to the downside, most likely to reach this target down here and also of course you see here the RSI currently is getting rejected here at the 50 level in the CME chart if today we're gonna close below the 20 daily. So we are in a very critical point my friends and as I told you yesterday be careful if you're longing right here. If you started to long at 10k where I also told you it is good to start to longing there because even if you would drop down to 9k you still can manage and scale in your long position but if we're coming up to these levels up here close to 12, mm -hmm. 11,000 dollar then this could be a very dangerous zone to start in longs because if we're gonna see a massive drop towards 9k it is very hard to keep your trade alive especially if you go with leverage in and we can also open up the Bollinger Band in the daily because currently we are still trading in the upper area which is a very good sign and if we're gonna have a big bounce here $10,700 then we could maybe even reach here up to $11,800 that is still in the cards as long as we're trading here in the upper area 
Also, we have the stochastic coming up here in overbought condition, but also here we still have some room left to the upside and also make the NKSD looking very bullish in my opinion. So there are still very good chances for us to go higher here, even though I'm still pretty convinced that most likely we're gonna have one less leg to the downside potentially to test also the 200 daily moving average or at least here the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which currently is down here at 9,600 dollar exactly where our CME gap is lining up and we can also have a final look here quickly into the weekly time frame in the Bitcoin price because here this uh, bounce from the 20 weekly is still very bullish and overall in the bigger picture we are remaining very bullish I got here a sell signal in the weekly but as I told you during a bull run this cool off can take at any time place and since we are now coming very close to the 20 weekly and also to the 200 daily moving average I think there is where Bitcoin most likely is gonna bottom and start a potential new big leg to the upside to take also out this 12,500 high that we had currently I don't expect the price to go way lower than 9k and that's why I'm still very bullish here on the Bitcoin price for the long term all right guys and with that said I'm gonna wrap it up I'm still in my short position I probably gonna have a stop loss once we're gonna reach this ten thousand five hundred dollar area let's see if this is gonna play out or not currently I'm still confident that we're gonna have a massive drop incoming but of course only short lift so if we're gonna have a big drop if it's the case then take it as an opportunity to scale in long positions that is also what I'm going to do once we're gonna reach my target targets and also I'm gonna go again all in with everything that I took out at 12k so if you like the content my friends please moon up the like subscribe to the channel very important to get these daily TA videos on the Bitcoin price and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye